All right, we're here at Dodger Stadium, home of the LA Dodgers. We're about to take the pregame stadium tour. Let's go, super excited. Dodgers Stadium, one of the oldest stadiums in the country, home of so much history. And if you get dropped off at the back like us, just follow these steps. There's signs leading you straight to the main entrance. We are now inside the famous Dodger Stadium. This is where you'll meet your tour guide for the day and they'll take you up these stairs for an amazing view of inside the ballpark. Take a look. Our nickname was the Bridegrooms because seven guys on the team were getting married at some point during the season. So we were the Bridegrooms. Iconic number 42, Jackie Robinson. Did you know Dodger Stadium is the only stadium in the country with an official botanical garden? Be cool. <laughs> so I encourage you to come out. And when you're walking around, you believe in the stadium, like, check it all out. Out in the center field plaza, some areas out there. <laughs> The game that we attended was an afternoon game, so there's no batting practice or anything like that, but the players are still out there throwing around the ball, and you get to see a lot of the big-time players out before the game. If you're a Collectibles fan like myself, you're for sure going to want to check this out. The Game Used Memorabilia Store on the second level. All right, now we're heading down to the best part and the highlight of the stadium tour. You're going to see a lot of the trophies and the history behind the LA Dodgers. We are now in the main trophy room. Take a look around at all the gold gloves. Welcome to the main trophy room. Gold gloves. On one wall, Sabine over by the Rose Bowl. Went to UCLA after going to Pasadena City College. At UCLA, he was a four sport, not letter. You got a black bat. Come on. You got to do better than that. It's pretty cool. It's got the names of the players engraved on there. Uh, you still get it up until 1999. From 67 to 99, you see the two on the ends? 81 and 88, we won this beautiful award, and it was designed by Balfour Jewelry Company. He was 20 years old. He wins the Cy Young, he wins the Rookie of the Year Award, he pitches us to the World Series title. And this hallway was amazing. If you're a Dodgers fan, you're going to appreciate this. Jackie Robinson, Roy Campanella, you'll see Sandy Koufax up on the wall as well. Some of the all-time greats for the Dodgers and baseball in general, all on the side of this hallway, on both sides. So take your time walking through here during the tour. They dressed out of these very lockers. We did a remodel in 2012 and put in some other lockers, brought these lockers up, put in some random memorabilia, you can check it out. Career certainly wasn't always sliding into that plate, but I'm sure some of the times he slid right into that very home plate. Here's the headline, Johnny Padres, hero, 2-0 title win, that was game seven. No matter where we walked on this tour, there was history everywhere. Every wall and everywhere you stepped, there was a piece of Dodgers history. And if you're a baseball cap fan, all the baseball caps throughout the years right here. We got Jackie stealing home one of his 18 times. Pretty cool stuff. Coming home. Who's the catcher? Yogi Berra. That's Yogi. Jackie slides in. Yogi puts the tag on. Yogi's turning. Jackie's turning. What's the umpire going to do? He's safe. He's safe. Yogi goes ballistic. The cool story is that ever since this moment, Yogi Berra signed his autograph. 
he was out. So he signed every autograph from that moment on. Never <laughs> Kelly's booth was right behind Hawk White. It says Spectrum Sportsnet. There's one that says Espanol underneath it. That's where Fernando works. Of course, there's a couple of booths for the Braves radio and TV group. Nine levels to this stadium. We did purchase our photo op from the tour, but that's totally optional. After the tour, you have to find this bobblehead collection. Take a look. It's amazing. I could not believe how many bobbleheads they had here. Everything from mascots to players. And for my Canadians, there was an Edwin Encarnacion bobblehead on display. What do we all love just as much as baseball? Yes, that is food. Let's try the world famous Dodger dog. It is is massive first of all come with an appetite because you're going to want to eat all the food but a solid nine out of ten on this unreal lives up to the name and we love to do this every time we go somewhere new make sure to get that souvenir cup something to take home at the end of the day no matter where you're sitting at the ballpark make sure to take time to head up to the top levels there is some amazing food options and even a little play area for the kids there's some smoked brisket up here that smelled amazing. The other reason to come up here is the absolute amazing view from the top of the stadium. You'll get to see the Dodger ballpark and all the fans in all its glory. After walking around the ballpark and finishing the stadium tour, you're gonna wanna refuel. And what better to refuel than on some sweets? We got your soft serve, chocolate vanilla with some churros. Honestly, nothing special, but hey, you can't beat churros and ice cream. By this time in the day, you're probably getting a bit thirsty, so make sure to check out this booth on the main level. They had the most options out of all the ones we saw. And look at this cool bat and ball on tap. Nothing cooler than that at Dodger Stadium. We decided to get this amazing slushy drink. Had a bit of a spicy rim, but I will warn you, these drinks are very expensive at the ballpark. You might be wondering, is this the line to get in the stadium? No, but it is the lineup to get the best thing at the park, and that is the fried chicken bowl with waffle fries. 10 out of 10. Huge lineup and a long wait, but it is well worth it. Listen in to the sounds of Dodgers Stadium. Dodgers win. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.